Welcome back guys, it's Carl Huff here. Welcome to chapter two. Chapter two in the SQL Learning is all about where clauses. What is a where clause, you ask? Where clauses is something that's very useful in the SQL language. It's useful when you're trying to look up data or if you're trying to fold data, if you're receiving too much data that is bogging down your system, you just want to shrink that data down and you want to do something like a where clause, like to set a date range from a particular date to a system date or something like that you utilize that where clause. So let's go ahead and get into it. What is a where clause? The where clause is used to filter records as I just stated. It's also used to extract only those records that fulfill a specific condition. The where clause is not only used in the select statements, it's also used in update, delete, and etc. The syntax for the where clause is select from and where, and that where is determined upon that condition. Next, we want to get into some of the operators in the WHERE clause. So in the WHERE clause, we have several different operators. We have the equal, we have the greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal. And please take note that in some version of SQL, this operator may be written as exclamation point and equals. Then we have between, between, in a, which is between a certain range, like, which allows you to search for a pattern. And then last but not least, we have in, and it's to specify multiple possible values for a column. With that being said, let's go ahead and learn how to utilize the word clause in our SQL. 